Hey, you guys, I'm back, and I guess this topic is going to be about forgive, forgiveness, and forget or forgive. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to name this topic. And tonight, you know, that was a discussion among my, you know, with my family and everything else, and we were just, you know, talking over dinner about when is there a time to really forgive someone and you know and all this other stuff well basically my grandmother was just like you know nobody is perfect and you know at the end of the day this person is a human and this and that and all this other stuff and I just feel like this I get it and everything else you know there's supposed to be forgiveness is really not for that person forgiveness is actually for you but my thing is with the situation is that I guess it's like let me just come out and just say what I have to say because it's like I'm trying like not to put anything out there because I know some certain people watch my videos and everything else but let me just say this there was a, a, a older woman who was very rude about when she saw me and when she saw me she was like, oh, you picked up so much weight and, you know, it looked like you took on your brother weight and everything else. And I feel like that was rude as hell, you know, at the end of the day. You haven't seen me in a long time and probably like over 18 years. And then when you see me, that's the first thing that come out of your mouth. And when I saw her, I was very happy to see her. But when she came at me like that and I was telling and my grandmother, she knows, okay, my aunts, they know that. I have a mouth and like one thing about me, I can defend myself. But in that moment of time, let me just say it wasn't the place and it wasn't the right time to discuss and say how I really felt. It was like I was shut down and I never forgave her for that because I felt like that. I don't care you are old. Sometimes old people get beside themselves and that's the God honest truth how I feel. I have feelings. I'm young, and as a as an older woman, you should set example. I was so happy to see this lady. I haven't seen her in a long time, and that's the first impression that you get of me is my weight. Like I'm like, girl, I can go on about how I feel about how you look. I could go on about the dirt that you don't think that I know, but I do know. And I was just saying all of these other things. And I was just like, I still ain't moved past that. I was like, you know, she always will talk about people. She'll do this and that. And you want me to forgive her, you know, whatever. And I was just really just getting out there. And of course, you know, my aunt and them, they was really surprised because it's like, I didn't know you knew all of that or whatever. And me as a kid, like, my aunts, they're not too, my aunts and uncles, they're not too far from me in age, okay? Like, they're older, but, you know, it's practically like I grew up like a little sister, basically, to them. But I respect them as my aunts and uncles. So, let me just say that because they pretty much babysit me and everything else, it's just like I was like the little kid that always was like, you know, the fly on the wall, right? Like... I know it was cool. You can't tell these things. So I harbor all the little juicy gossip. Because one thing about me, I may lose money at times. I may lose my keys, but I never forget the tea. So that's just how, you know, as a kid, and I just was telling them different little stories. They was like so amazed that I knew all this stuff. But I'm saying all of this because it was a lot of things. And I'm like, why we should forgive her? Because she was doing this and she was doing that. Um, you know, my girl was like, well, you know, because everybody has done something. Nothing is new up under the sun. You know, you should just let it go. And this and that. I'm like, I ain't ready to let it go. Because, you know, I'm hoping that I don't run into her no more. I'm hoping all these other things or whatever. But I get what exactly what my grandmother was saying. You know, just like, it's not even worth it. So it's just like, when do it come to a point where there's an expiration date to let something go? Because it's been like five or six years. But it's like, I, I don't. I don't hate her. Oh, yeah, I did see her. I saw her probably like two years ago. And I had told my grandmother them this. And I said, you know what? And they was like, well, you know she going to be there. And I was like, and I don't care. And I don't know why y'all invited her anyways or whatever. So to the cookout, let me just say that. So she saw me. 
and I'm, I'm a person like this. I'm nothing if I'm not real. And I say, you know what? I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. And I remember my grandmother said, you know, don't do that. You know, don't do that. Don't, because they know I would, you know. Because at the end of the day, what? how far to go with a person when you hurt somebody? Like, you know, you hurt my feelings. Like, you had a lot of nerves. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like I'm human at the end of the day. I may act like I have tough skin, but I'm still human. I have emotions, you know. And me, I always try to be polite and everything else. So, I'm going to say, you know what? You need to act like a lady. You know, you need to be the bigger person. And I'm like, well, she's like in her 80s. If anything, she should be the bigger person. She's the elder, okay? So... Of course, I was giving my grandmother the blues behind all of this, and because I get a, I get a, I get a kick out of it, okay. <clears throat> but deep down, she know like sometimes I gonna be a ticking bun, like she say. Sometimes I gonna be Mother Teresa, and then the next minute I could be the devil from hell, you know, whatever. So I get it. But in the end of the day, I love and I love her, and I don't do like ill will. I don't. You know, I don't harbor those things in me like that or whatever, unless you cross me. So, and it only going to stay for a minute, but I never forget. You know what I'm saying? So, at this little cookout, per se, so I made it my business to keep ignoring her. She was trying to get my attention so bad. I want the, no, because remember, I'm the little fat little girl who took on my brother away, you know, and everything else. My brother lost weight and now I got his weight, you know, like, no. So, I waited to the end of the night because I wasn't ready to deal with her. I needed to put her on the back burner. But at the end of the night, once I got everything because I was coordinating this cookout or whatever. <clears throat> so at the end of the night, I made it my business to go to her. And I I told her I was glad to see her. I say, you know what? I say, I've been so busy. She's like, I've been trying to get a hold of you. And this and that or whatever, you just been on a move or whatever. And I say, yeah, I say, you know, I've been really busy trying to get things situated. I said, but I couldn't end the night without giving you a hug because you're a very special lady. And me, it takes a lot for me to come into that. And why I say that is because regardless to how I know you are, I try to pick out the good that I know of you. Okay, at the end of the day, is she a special lady? Yes, she is. Do she have a filter? No, she don't have no filter. But I had to pull myself together and I had to look at the positive because I'm like, I can't harbor, harbor this how I feel, how she hurt me. I have to release it and I could be good. Was it that deep? It was a little deep. Did it? Did I cry some nights? No, I didn't. But I remember how it felt. So I want her. To feel how I felt like just disregard her until I can find in me to say the right thing. Because I don't like to come off as being fake. When I give a person a compliment, I like to give a person a real compliment. Hey, you look nice. You know, I know some people that be like, well, I just want to make somebody feel special. You know, just to be talking, you know, whatever. That's not me. When I really say something, I really want you to know that I really mean it. And I'm sincere about it. You know, and it co it's coming from the heart. So, I guess, you know, forgive, forget, however it may be. Um, it comes to a point where life is so precious and some things are not even worth it. Was it worth it to stay on my mind like that? Absolutely not because I feel like that there are other things that are going to come my way and that I need to be prepared for it. So that's how I look at things that may come your way, that may ruffle your feathers. Just look at it as a life lesson. Like, okay, if this is on a small level, then how are if you can't deal with the small level, how are you going to deal with the big level when people are saying things that you don't like? You know, and it's just to prepare you to how to adjust and to what do you do in those situations. And like I say, we all know forgiveness is something really not for that person but it's for you and for your own good because i know people that actually will get sick and get depressed because they couldn't let stuff go and it's something about releasing okay if you release something that means that it was only temporary and it must go it's not to stay there forever like that's not supposed to stay with you forever to be mad or whatever and to hold grudges let it go move on 
<clears throat> but don't you hate when some people tell you it's not that deep. It may not be deep for them, but in that moment, it's deep for you. But at the end of the day, when they go through stuff, then they want you to be like all on the bed. No, let it go. It ain't that deep. Remember? And that's how some people see some things, but I'm going to let it go because I just feel all of this stuff is coming and draining in me and I don't like that feeling. Sorry, y'all. I may have to edit this, but I'm going to go. Ha holla.